Look who I ran into. The Columbus Blue Jackets are currently in an interesting spot in terms of ranking in the NHL. They're currently last. However, that may not necessarily be a bad thing. And talking with and listening with experienced Carolina Hurricanes fans, there was a time where the Carolina Hurricanes were also had some dark years and were last in rankings. So the Blue Jackets may be down this year, but you never know. They may be up next season. The storm is in town and the game is about to start. And it's the last Carolina Hurricane game of the regular season. Come with me to Columbus, Ohio to watch the Carolina Hurricanes take on the Columbus Blue Jackets. The Columbus Blue Jackets are an expansion team that started in 2000. They are a part of the same division as the Carolina Hurricanes. Today, the local news did a big story on the Blue Jackets woman Zamboni driver. She's also a figure skater and she was working tonight's game. The Blue Jackets Arena is located in downtown Columbus, Ohio. They have a hall of hockey, which features hockey jerseys from high schools and colleges across the state. This was the only NHL arena where I've seen banners from the other NHL teams hanging from the rafters. Blue Jackets also have their practice skate facility attached directly to their main facility. That was really cool. Bradley Nadeau and Jackson Blake had their NHL debuts tonight. They did a duo skate. That was really cool to see. Now let's get into the scoring for the Blue Jackets. Del Bell Ballou scored. Wariski scored twice. Malatesta and Goudreau scored. Now the Blue Jackets are known for the cannon and the cannon that goes boom. And y'all, it definitely goes boom. Every time the Blue Jackets scored, also at the end of the game and the beginning of the game, smoke um, comes out of it and also sparklers. It is very loud, y'all. For the Hurricanes now, Blue Jackets don't feature their opponent scoring, but Jasper Kokianami scored and also Turbo T scored twice. He was on Hattie Watch. Now, for fan engagement and games, y'all, I always try to keep these vlogs positive, but this Blue Jackets game left a little lot to be desired. This was the white spot game. They did a lost and found game. Now, I thought this was a little bit too soon for the Arizona Coyotes to be making jokes on them moving to Salt Lake City. Um, the Blue Jackets do have a DJ. He performed a couple of times, but that was it, y'all. Anyway, the Blue Jackets ended up winning. The final score was 6-3. I've definitely had more fun at other games and other teams. Hey, but Well, it's officially the end of regular NHL season for the Carolina Hurricanes. As y'all can see, they just lost the game against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, but this was my very first full season as an NHL hockey fan, which is why I wanted to like TikTok the whole thing to like mark the experience. Um, I wanted to try to cram in as much as possible from October 11th, 2023, when the Carolina Hurricanes played the Ottawa Senators at home and won. That was the season opener all the way to tonight's game in Columbus, Ohio against the Columbus Blue Jackets with a Hurricanes loss but that's okay. Um, I just wanted to make um, this first full year as a hockey fan as memorable as possible. I appreciate like the podcast, like the Surge cast, the Storm Cellar, all of the experienced hockey fans. One thing the guys over at the Storm Cellar advised to me, they were like, you're only gonna be a new hockey fan once. So enjoy it as much as you can. That's why like I went to the Hockey Hall of Fame um, this year, I try to get in a couple of, of away games and of course some home games as well because I just wanted to try to remember, read a couple of books, um, watch some hockey documentaries as well, told some stories. So I really appreciate the experience, hockey fans, with the advice. If um, you have any advice for the playoffs, y'all, you know, I'm always open to like advice. I appreciate everything and appreciate everyone who su supported. Um, this TikTok page and just the journey in the experience. I'm definitely looking forward to the playoffs. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Go Canes!